Interpreting Goldman Kinetic Perimetry Results. In the case of the Goldman Kinetic Perimetry, we're going to have an oval, just like I described, which will be the farthest out a person sees that target. So that would be pretty easy to determine. You'd be able to find where is the central point that the person fixated, how far out, out do they see it, You'd want to have some norms to compare it to. We see a Goldman field map that plots the outer perimeter of the visual field for a child with normal vision. A normal visual field of a child, let's say between five and eight years of age, has a certain size and um, conformation. It will look very much like an adult's, maybe just be a little bit smaller. Um, the right eye field will be a little constricted, as it is in adults, in the nasal field. The left eye field should be pretty far out. You should be able to see two field plots, one of a, with a very large target and one with a smaller target, showing sort of the mid-peripheral field. And you should also see a dark area and for that right field plot right about here. And that is the normal blind spot, the, where the optic nerves go back into the brain. If you've had a good test with a child, you're able to test the blind spot. So you should normally see that little dark spot there. We see the Goldman chart of both the right and left eye as described. An oval perimeter is compressed slightly in the nasal field, and the dark mark denoting the blind spot is just to the temporal side of the fixation point in both eyes. Let me show you an abnormal field from a child who's five, six years old. We see a Goldman field plot that shows the perimeter of a visual field for the child's right and left eyes. The right boundary of both plots is sharply delineated by the vertical axis. This is a right field loss. So if you think about that normal field, we saw a nice oval. Now what you're going to see now is a field that's completely absent on the, the child's right. Right to the vertical meridian, we call that the vertical meridian. He has a beautiful field on his left. And it's the same with the left eye and the right eye. No seeing, no feel, there's no circles plotted on the right side of the field plot, but lots of fields represented on the left. And if you look at his binocular field, that is with both eyes open, you see he has a very extensive field on the left and no field on the right. He has a right field loss we call right homonymous hemianopia, complicated term meaning same in each eye. And he's a boy with a very severe field loss. Fade to black. 